built to host matches for the ICC fifth over World Cup in 2007, the National Stadium, which is currently the country's lone ICC-accredited international venue, has predominantly hosted cricket activities, with occasional football, hockey, rugby and track and field. To form the transformation of the stadium, the ministry is developing the vast underutilized areas in the compound of the stadium to cater for football, volleyball, lawn tennis and basketball. The football field is being built um, just as you enter on the northern side. Right now they are clearing the field, the so the football field is being built there. Uh, we are going to be building the volleyball field right just adjacent to the tarmac. Um, we are going to put a, a tennis court um, near to the tarmac as well or on the tarmac as well. Uh, as well as a basketball court. So we've had some engagements with the um, Guyana Amateur Basketball Association as well as the Federation. So we're purchasing the equipment um, at the moment. So that is what we're doing to convert it into a multi-purpose sports facility. According to the minister, all of the additional facilities will be completed before year-end and the football facility will have lights to allow for uninterrupted day and night training. Additionally, plans are revealed for the construction of a cricket academy to the northern side of the stadium. For next year, which is something that is very important to me and is something that must be done, is building the uh, cricket academy, the specialized kind of cricket academy, where, um, which will be just north of here as well. Uh, this, the, the function of this is to be able to play cricket anytime, whether you have good weather or bad wet weather, and we're, we're working on the designs right now. Um, we're pretty confident that we'll be able to finalize those details coming, so coming out of the next budget. You'll, that'll be completed within a few months so that we can get that started. The minister indicated he had discussions with representatives from the International Cricket Council, Cricket West Indies, and the Ghana Cricket Board concerning the academy, which he assured will be constructed. For the newsroom, Akim Green.